I woke up this morning and I saw Ben Carson was trending on Facebook. And I was like, oh, here we go again. Dr. Carson has been the center of several tongue slips since he announced his run for president. Most of them were just complete misrepresentations. And this is really the same thing. So I said, what, what did he say? And you will never guess what he said, okay? This is absolutely insane. Dr. Carson said slaves wanted a better life for their children. What? Why? Why would he say that? So he said slaves would want a better lives for their children, and he said that slaves were immigrants. What an idiot, right? What a moron. Instantly I said, okay, I've got to look up the definition of immigrant so that I can post an ignorant status about Dr. Carson and about how big of an idiot he is. Definition of immigrant. Uh, being caught in dumb. But no, really, that's exactly what I feel like the media did on this. And that's what I feel like they've done with Dr. Carson in the past. They, they pick up on one thing that he said and they just blow it completely out of proportion. What exactly did Dr. Carson say? Let's, let's just listen to the video and then we'll kind of just break it down a little bit. That's what America is about. A land of dreams and opportunity. There were other immigrants who came here in the bottom of slave ships, worked even longer, even harder for less. But they too had a dream that one day their sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters, great-grandsons, great-granddaughters might pursue prosperity and happiness in this land. Okay, so really, this is the exact same thing that happened with the Nazi Germany quote, right? So Dr. Carson said that there was another group of people, of immigrants, he says of immigrants, who came here and they wanted a better life and prosperity for their children and grandchildren, which I fully believe that they did. I doubt that the slaves said, man, I sure hope my children and grandchildren don't prosper. So I don't see anything wrong with that statement. And then the second thing that people are getting all frustrated about is him calling the slaves immigrants. So the Webster's definition of immigrant is a person who comes to live permanently in a foreign country. That's it. A person who comes to live permanently in a foreign country. Slaves? Absolutely. It doesn't say how they came. It doesn't say they were fleeing from something. It doesn't say they wanted to start a new life. It doesn't say that they were forced to come to that new country. It's simply that they came to a foreign country and lived there. Therefore, he's not wrong to say that slaves were immigrants. They were. But he simply says that the slaves wanted a better life for their children and grandchildren. Were slaves immigrants? Yes. Did they want a more prosperous, better life for their children than they had? I would bet so. That's the main issue. And then the other, the other thing that people are bringing up is they're saying that Dr. Carson is comparing immigrants to slaves. No. No. And this is the same thing they did, tried to do with, with the Nazi Germany thing. He was making a comparison of some issues and saying, hey, look, we see this here, we see this here. And any logical person would be able to separate the two and say, okay, he's just saying, here's some similarities here. That, that's literally all he was saying. And this, what, what happened today is, is a very, very similar thing. So he said that the slaves wanted a better life for their kids. And that's why a lot of immigrants come here. Now, this probably wasn't the best comparison Dr. Carson could have made. He's, he's done this on a couple of occasions where he hasn't really chosen his words uh, very wisely, and, and that can create some issues. And to be fair, okay, that's fine. You can say it was worded incorrectly. But to make it anything more than that is just absolutely absurd. I could expect seeing this from uh, Vox or uh, BuzzFeed or uh, Now This or any of those websites. But I see this on CNN, and I see this on MSNBC, and this is like a headline story. This is literally like the number two trending thing on Facebook right now. The only thing I can figure is that they just really hate Dr. Carson because he doesn't fit their narrative. They literally just take, take him as an opportunity to smear and say, look how dumb conservatism is. Um, and then I see all these terrible racist things being said about him. And we live in a, in a world where people can't understand nuance. They don't understand this is the point that is trying to be made. And they can't take that from it. They have to analyze the semantics of every single word, even though his semantics weren't even wrong. We, we don't know how to read for context. We just read for what we want to hear. People just, they just read what they think. Oh, 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 here's what he said, or here's what I want him to say. But what's the intent? 
What's the context of what they're saying? In the end, this is just another great example of overreach by the media and trying to make something out of nothing. This is just kind of my take on this. I know it was just a quick little video. I've never made a video like this before, but when I saw this, it was just another attack on Ben Carson, which I've seen a ton of, and I just kind of wanted to address it in, in the way that I saw it. And if you liked it, I might make more of these videos. I don't know. Um, but I kind of just wanted to get out there and, and say something about it because I thought it was really dumb. So yeah, that's really all I got guys. Thanks.